I, you know, wrote some of this down. What did we write down? Um. Uh, uh. I, I don't even have words. For, I don't even oh, have do. any words. You I do, but words. I can ramble. But yeah. For some people, time is worth more than money. Well, we're supposed to tithe, though. So. Yeah, we, we are. I know. You just told people don't tithe. I know. So. That's a blooper. <laughs> My days are being all that. All that. Nope, not that. Delete. Uh, just might watch a this. Since 2014, we've been coming to Southern Hills at the old building. Uh, how it's grown us is just the absolute understanding through all trials that, that life throws at you. There is a very, very, very strong faith-based answer. We're humans and we go through things, but we understand that there's an almighty God that we answer to and that always has our back. It's really exciting for us, I think, because of being involved in the kids' ministry from the old place. Mm -hmm. There was this huge room where all the kids had to, got to play and play mm -hmm. dodgeball. They played basketball in there, and they had their own spot. To see that the new building to allow more people for growth to come in to the, from the, the community and have this spot for the kids also mm -hmm. it, is something so awesome because, I mean, they are literally the future. They literally are the ones that are sometimes in the most desperate need for guidance and somebody to that they respect and look up to. And that's what we're trying to be. I have such a heart to serve. I just hope that is, it flows over to others. Um, even in when I'm struggling in my own life, I still, I still hope, or what, whatever is going on in our life, I still hope that they can see how through Christ, how he strengthened me to get me back up. A few months away from adopting uh, two, two, two little awesome ones, kids. extra ones, two awesome ones that are just Anna like. Anna is five and Elijah is we 14. We're like that already, so that's just something special, but it's just the choice that generations down the road are still following God. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's asking any of them to be yeah. perfect, but to just love a perfect God and try the best that they can. Because what do we put our money into? We love our kids, we put our money into our kids. We love our sports, we put our money into our sports. We love our hobbies, we put our money into our luck and our hobbies. Are we, if we're not putting our money into God, how much do we really love Him? Because I promise you, when you do that first, they just, the blessings just come. You don't even understand how it happened and where it came from and, and just where you can be later. Trust him first and, and give what you can, what he puts in your heart, but just give with a loving heart. Southern Hills is a family. And like many families, sometimes you don't see each other often, but when you see each other, it's like nothing else changed, nothing else happened. We remember then, we remember here, and then we remember now when we look back, that was something special to watch our kids grow up and our families grow up and be a part of it. Just so much opportunity in, a, in a, this broken city that we live in to just be that light. Because what does light do in darkness? It illuminates the darkness, even just the smallest piece. And I think that's truly what Southern Hills is and is really trying to accomplish.